Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you guys this brand new 2023 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. This one has a 3 liter V6 turbo diesel engine. And as you can see with the Rubicon, you get upgraded wheels, you know, really beautiful paint color, LED upgraded headlights, turn signals, and fog lights. And the tail lights are also LEDs. As you can see, it has a beautiful Rubicon logo on the hood. You got your air vents right here. Has a little nice, you know, hood scoop style, like the 392 Hemi. But this one is not, but it has like a nice hood. You also get this matte black non-painted grill. But you can also get an option with the painted grill too. This one's a little bit less specced. You also get your LED daytime running lights and the LED turn signals. You got your LED amber side marker. Your fender flares and the front bumper and rear bumper are not painted. As you can see, it has this like gray color. It's still nice. You got your trail rated logos, your red Jeep logo. This is a Gladiator. You got your super strong metal, you know, bar protection. Shield on the sides, like a rock protector. You got keyless entry right here. You can also put a key manually. You also got your blind spot assist. That helps you see if there's a vehicle or not. And then you got your a rear fender flare as you can see it's, it's a very beautiful truck you got your you know push of a button you got your fuel cap that opens and closes it also locks when your truck locks it unlocks when your truck is open you got your def to add def def and you got your diesel fuel right here on the bed of the truck you also get a spray and bed liner with the led lights to help you see at night you also, got, you also got your tow. Um, if you're towing something or you have cargo, you could tie it down on the four corners. Right there. And coming around right there. So it's really cool and helpful. You also got on the roof. The roof is also not painted, just like a plastic. You also can remove the doors and the top if you want. The other half also comes off. And you also got a rear window. You could open and close for some fresh air. Coming on the back, you got your Falcon Wild Peak all-terrain tires. Super thick and nice with nice Jeep wheels. Got the red little Jeep. Coming up front, you also get nice wheels. It's really nice suspension too. Even the stock, it looks pretty high up. You need to put like two hands up here pretty tall BV tires and really good strong brakes and strong lug nuts to hold your wheels in place when you're off-road come here on the tail lights you also got like a little side step you know also metal metal bumper top is plastic red to red like tow hooks you got the eco diesel sign you got your full LED tail lights and LED white reverse lights you got a big, nice Jeep logo in the back. You got your backup camera. You got your third LED brake light that's on the bed. And you got your parking sensors, your rear um, reflecting lights so people can see you. You got your tow hitch package. You got your LED license plate lights. And going under, you got your spare tire. Also really nice and beefy. You got your exhaust tip right there. And this truck is very beautiful. Coming here on the front bumper, this one isn't like metal, it's like plastic pretty much. Maybe it's metal in behind. Yeah, it's still plastic. You got your red tow hooks, you got your LED fog lights, which is like fake grill. You got your front license plate bracket. And you also get like the, these lights are really cool because if you're on a hill or down the hill, it keeps them level and helps you see. And let's see under the truck. Got your beefy skip plate. Got your all the axles and everything that makes this truck very powerful for off-roading. So showing the engine bay of the Jeep Gladiator Diesel. You got your intake right here. You got your you know the cap for the Eco Diesel engine. You got your oil. You got your brake fluid. Your washer fluid. Coolant. Your power steering fluid. You know, like your fuse box. Your battery with the heated like blanket 
keeps it uh, warm for the cold winter times. The hood is also well insulated, as you can see. Super nice, and the latch is yellow. It's, you can see, you know, so you don't hit or anything. The moldings are super high quality. Every corner of that Jeep made right here, it's so engineered, so special. It, has, it serves a purpose for everything. So it's really nice and insulated, so when you drive, it won't make lots of road noise. And you can see the big radiator. You can also put a nice aftermarket intake. It will sound nice. So Jeep did also a good job where you could you know, work in the engine bay. Your hand has lots of space to move around if you need to change oil or something or tune it. What I like about it is it has like aux built in or already. You can you know, put lights and connect it straight to the car without bringing to a electrician. Coming on the inside, you got your beautiful door that you can also remove. If you want to go camping or, you know, feel the fresh breeze in the summer, there's a nice metallic -y door handle with your window controls here, your lock unlock button, nice leather with silver gray stitching on your armrest. You got a really nice storage compartment here, flexible. Coming inside, you got your all weather floor mats. They're easy to remove. It's your beautiful seat, as you can see, tan seat, like a brown tan seat with the Rubicon logo, fully leather. You got your leather console, leather e-brake, even this, like the shift knobs, and your you know, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, you know, neutral, four high, four low. It's all leather and super nicely stitched. Your steering wheel is super nice and stitched, all leather. Feels very really nice to the touch. Close the door, you can see, sounds almost like a G-Wagon. On top, you got this beautiful stitch dashboard. Leather, it's leather with silver stitch around the whole dash. It makes it look very nice. That's your pretty big screen right here. Got your air vents, nice metallic -y color. Painted instead of leather, it's painted. Usually it comes in red. That matches the stitching. You also got your controls here for your turn signal, your windshield washer wipers got your horn right here i like the new modern buttons on the jeeps you got your pickup your you know, end call your siri or android you got your controls for the screen so on the jeep gladiator rubicon you get analog you know miles per hour analog rpm but you can also get digital miles per hour when you turn on the vehicle you just don't have the keys with me everything is digital in in the middle and on the left right here it's also digital it's like a really cool touch you get like you know old school and new school at the same time you got your cruise control buttons right here you know reset high low if you had the radar cruise control you would get the camera with the radar buttons right here but this one doesn't have it you got so you got your start start button keyless entry you got your volume a heated steering wheel that's nice it keeps you nice and warm heated seats ac your parking sensors cruise control screen off auto off start button like a feature where it turns off off and on the car while you're on the stop it to save some gas you got your traction control off you got your window controls right here you got your power outlet you no know, usb usb c aux cable other power outlet you got your diff lock you know front rear off road sway bar your aux right here really cool because you have lights just connect them to aux and you save time you got you know four wheel drive you know neutral two wheel drive controls here your gearbox is right here you got your manual parking reverse neutral drive your you know super nice high quality e-brake with a compartment right here for keys you also get a nice little toolkit for the doors and more couplers here on the console they're nice and leather as you can see, you got USB right there too. And there's a top compartment. Looks like carbon fiber. Really nice. And rubber too. You also get an auto dimming mirror. Which, you know, SOS assist if you need help. You got your garage controls here. You got your, you know, insulated roof to keep it more quieter. Your latches to remove the roof. And sun visors are, are really nice. And I think they have LEDs. You also have the light controls here, you know, auto, you know, high beam, low beam, turn off your bed lights, your 
these control the interior of the lights to make it dimmer or brighter. These handles are really helpful when getting in and out of the Jeep. It makes it easier to climb in and hop out. Coming on a passenger door, as you can see, you also get the nice leather, your lock on the button. You got a grab handlebar, so if you're off roading, you hold it and you know you won't move around as much. You got your nice glove box compartment, pretty decent space. Also, in floor mats, you also get only controls, no lumbar support or anything, just to adjust the top and the bottom back and forth. In the back seat, you get tinted windows. You got a leather handle bar right here. You got more storage compartment here. On the back seat, you got this blast, nice plastic with like army military style like straps. You can put pens or something. You also get storage here. And you got your all season floor mats. As you can see, it connects it on the whole back. So it makes it easier to clean if it gets dirty. You also get the beautiful fully leather seats on the back. The seats also headrest can you know go down if you need to see. You could pull this seat, uh, you know, down for storage, as you can see. Put something, you know, put it up. You also get a little storage compartment here for two cu cup holders. It feels nice and expensive leather. You got your car seat holder connected right here to put a car seat for kids. You got nice black seat belts. I was sitting inside here, as you can see, six foot. Pretty well, you know, good space right here. Good headroom. It's also nice and insulated. Keeps the cabin nice and quiet and muffled. You got your air vents right here. Easy to control for the rear passengers. You got your USB cables that you go up. Has USB and USB-C. Your power outlet. You put coffee machine. Window controls. Cup holders. And it's very, sp pretty much really spacious and, and nice, you know, atmosphere staying here in the truck pretty much driving and you got you also full led you know lights you got your speakers right here subwoofer nice safety bars and the window you know view from the inside is pretty good you did a good job really well made truck you also get grab handles for the rear passengers too so it makes it easier for the passengers to get in and out as you can see, closing door, and the tailgate is open nice and softly. As you can see, it doesn't just slam down on your legs. Really tough, rugged spring bed liner from Jeep. Easy to close it. Let's talk about the pricing. As you can see, this one costs $51,875. The final price is seventy-four thousand seven hundred with all the options, and then the adjustments and everything. The total price comes to eighty-one thousand nine hundred eighty-nine dollars, and then your miles per gallon. You get twenty-four miles per gallon, twenty-one city, twenty-seven highway, and four point two gallons per hundred miles. You spend two thousand dollars more in fuel costs for five years. This Jeep has two hundred sixty horsepower and four hundred forty-six pound-feet of torque. It has plenty of power and torque for you know pulling a boat, a trailer. It might not get the best MPGs, but that's what we buy a truck for to have fun in the sand with the family and pull something. They're made to work you know hard, and this Jeep will definitely get the job done for you. So if you guys really enjoyed this video of the twenty twenty-three Jeep Rubicon three-liter V six diesel. Please like, subscribe, and Jesus loves you. God bless you guys. Have a wonderful day.